Um, worse though, I think we both agree on this. It was really awkward and it was really long. Like and there was this one lady who would always pop up and I don't, I don't forget her she name. She was cool. Like she was my favorite though. Like I, that was the best part of it. I think I mean, in addition to just cause I had fun she was funny making fun of her. Yeah. Cause she always had like this really cringy joke to make every time she was on screen. And I can't believe they named a game after my favorite weekend activity. <laughs> Which was probably written in. It was probably a script and she just kind of read off of it. And maybe she like improv some stuff here or there. But I was just like, oh, man. I mean, it it's it feels like it was made by PC people like the whole show. That's how bad yeah. it was. And it's just like uh, cringe, cringe. Yeah, it was pretty bad. But uh, it's still there's a lot of great games there. So that was that was exciting to see. Um, next up we have. Oh, and then we didn't really do any predictions on the PC gaming show. I don't think so. Moving on. Who does Nintendo. That? Head on over to the Gamer on Net for a full podcast episode for our weekly game impressions and top headlines of the week. That, that's one of me doing an interview. Here's one of all of us. We'll make some yeah, cool things. Brett's also right here. Like this video, subscribe, keep up with all the latest video game news and opinions that you care about right here on the Inner Gamer. 